Okay, so we hiked up this old mining road about a kilometer or something like that and we were just above the town of Sandon, BC. You can see a little bit of old mine rubble here. And down below is the town of Sandon. And uh, just over here is the Ruth Hope Mine. See the guys are ahead of me, here's all the old core samples. And uh, the old workshop and stuff, so we'll uh, make our way into the workshop and have a look around. Okay, this is the far end of the workshop. So we'll have a look in here first. It's just kind of a little closed off area, but there's a little heater and stuff in here. And, uh, this looks like a work, work area. You can see there's an animal nest, old fire extinguisher. Over here there's an old box with nails in it. And uh, looks like an old a little air compressor or something, I can't tell. And some storage boxes. So we're going to make our way over to the main workshop area and I'll do a video in there. Right, so we're back around on the other side where the core samples are. You can see they were all tagged and labeled, all the core samples. RP07-07, box 9. So we're going to go inside here and have a look around. Oh, it's uh, totally full of rubble. <laughs> Old doors and hoses and... I'm going to make my way around to the other side to that other entrance and uh, get a better look from that side, I think. I'm not going to climb over all this stuff. Okay, here's looking off the uh, where the edge of the waste rock pile starts for the Ruth Hope Pine. You can see the ore cart tracks continue out here and then there was a, uh, a dump where they dumped over the edge there. And uh, panning around here, there's an old axle for one of the ore carts on the ground. And some old storage lockers. The guys would have uh, put their stuff. Inside here is a little bit of ventilation tubing. It looks like a, uh, yeah, where they would have got changed. There's their coveralls and a little heater. There's the electrical panels and stuff that would have run the mine. Really old coffee maker. And I think through here was just that workshop that I looked into. Yeah. So we'll make our way over to that other side where you can see in a bit better. Careful, all this wood is really slippery. loader tire or a truck, dump truck tire or something. And uh, yeah, here's looking in the in the old workshop. It's really dilapidated and so we're, I think we're gonna have better luck. There's some old ventilation tubing, metal ventilation tubing. And So yeah, we're gonna go see what the uh, what the adit looks like and see if we can make our way in and have a look at the Ruth Hope mine. Okay, just a quick look here at the uh, there's a, a cart here, like a man cart uh, that would have transported the miners down into the mine. I'll have a quick look at that a little bench inside, and the guys would have uh, sat in here. And row down into the mine. And uh, that's looking back over the dump where they would have dumped the ore carts. That's the uh, workshop that we were just in. And uh, there's the adit there. So we're going to make our way in the portal and uh, we'll pick it up inside. Okay, so we scrambled through this. Uh, little opening on the side here. Kind of hard to see, but it's where we came through. And uh, right inside is the old electric mule that would have uh, brought the ore carts in and out. That's where the uh, driver would have sat there. 
And the batteries would have been in the front there, it looks like. And uh, yeah, this is inside of the root hope line. If you're looking around, you can see the ventilation tubing. And uh, yeah, nice big wide ore car tracks. So we're going to make our way in the roof hope and then look around and see what we can see. Um, this was the Sylvana up above was the bigger mine of the two. Uh, the Sylvana was up, I think they said six or seven levels. And uh, the Ruth Hope, I believe, is just one level. But it's uh, fairly extensive. I believe the guy said it's going to be probably a two hour explore or something like that. So let's make our way in past this little, uh, looks like there's a little watery section. We'll get past that and then continue filming. Okay, so we got past the first little watery spot and it's a uh, fairly low ceiling here. On this ground, you can see the old shovel. And uh, panning back around here, that's the kind of sketchy area we went through. It's a little bit collapsed with a couple of timbers hanging down. Not bad though. We're going to uh, be making our way forward. Past this uh, little collapse here. And Tunnel opens up a little bit. You can see there's a lot of uh, little cavities and stuff behind the uh, the timbering. And they timbered this whole section. It looks like this must have been fairly unstable. So we're going to keep making our way down the tunnel here, and hopefully we find something interesting. Okay, so we just kind of scrambled through this little section here. I'm not going to go back under it again because it's uh, that beam is being held up by the cables and that pipe. And there's a bunch of rock on top there, so it's a pretty uh, dangerous little section. And uh, that's the main tunnel continuing that way. So we're going to head up there and uh, have a look. So a little further in the mine here, we have a it looks like a some an old bucket for probably grease and it looks like a maybe a track spacing tool or something. That's what it looks like. And uh, a big pry bar, big crowbar. And uh, that's the main tunnel. Continuing down that way. And we're gonna keep wandering down this main haulage tunnel at the Ruth Hope Mine. I don't think this was actually, I think this was the actual working tunnel, but the first bit of it is just haulage. Um, it's only one level. But apparently there are some uh, workings at the back, so it's kind of hard to walk and film because the <laughs> ventilation and the uh, air pipe and stuff is really close to the ground. You have to duck down the whole time. But the tunnel itself is in pretty good shape other than those two spots right at the beginning where there was some collapse happening. Oh. Let's keep up uh, exploring the Ruth Hope mine. Okay, so we've come to our first intersection. And uh, we'll just have a peek inside this left branching tunnel. And uh, there's a, it's actually a, a three-way intersection. There's the main tunnel continuing down that way. And the right branching tunnel, which looks like it's got a... Dam. Yeah, it's a dam. Oh wow, look at the water, yeah. We'll go ahead and have a look at that. And off to the left here. Have an electrical panel. A little more. And a little bit further in. Oh. Huh. Ventilation tubing. We have a fairly large room with a metal roof to keep the rocks from falling. Looks like a workstation, hey? Like a work? Think, yeah, charging station. Yeah. Find a little miner's canteen here. Neat. <laughs> yeah. There's a drive of the cart, I'm assuming. It's Some old ladder. Old timber. Something in it. What they, what they would have used as a cushion, I'm assuming. Doesn't look terribly comfortable. And uh, 
Yeah, the old electric mule with a mucker. Uh, I think he had, oh, he had coffee in there. Gross. That's the same video. Um, <laughs> it's probably. Yeah, it was coffee at one time or another. Nice mold growing. Lovely. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, leave it there. Maybe he still wants it. He might, yeah. Maybe he'll come back for it. Just on holidays. And, uh, yeah. Generator. Or, not a generator, charging station, I mean. And, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll make our way back out to the main tunnel and uh, maybe check out that right branch and see what's down there. Okay, so here's looking down this right branching tunnel that uh, looks like it was just junk storage or something. Um, coming up here, ventilation tubing and some old uh, insulation and stuff, but there is a giant dam here holding back a lot of water that's uh, running through this pipe and out into the main tunnel so I don't think that continues I think that's the very end of it there but it's hard to say it might go around to the left but it's uh, full of water and debris so no going that way so we'll go back and continue down the main haulage tunnel and check out what's further down When Stu walked by, he noticed the, uh, there's an old hoist on a, on a beam on the ceiling right in here. So this must have been a little like maybe where they worked on the locomotives or lifted the ore carts off the tracks and they needed to work on them or something like that. There's an old, an old barrel, Stelco, trade bolts, track bolts, sorry it says track bolts. So yeah, we're going to make our way back out to the uh, main haulage tunnel and where you can see the water running down. So there is more water coming out somewhere in the mine. So we're going to make our way further down that way and uh, see what else we encounter in the Ruth Hope mine. Okay, so that's looking down uh, the main haulage tunnel. You can see there's a bit of collapse in the floor and this is where we just passed was uh, just under the top of the boot <laughs> level, so it's, uh, so it's still passable. So we're going to uh, make our way further into the roof hope line. And uh, this is looking down the main haulage tunnel again, or the main tunnel. You can see there's still some collapse and uh, a bit more boulders and a bit more water. and Still quite a strong breeze. So we're, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep, keep heading on and check out the Ruth Hope line. <laughs> 